See if you're okay just being in presence. That's enough. That's enough. If you allow that to lead you, it will take you deeper and deeper. It'll start to draw you away from, from things. It will, at the moment, if, if ignorance is there, it's this snare, ensnaring you in things. It's enmeshed with objects. But if you be, then you get, you. it takes you away, it withdraws you. It withdraws your tentacles from objects and you come into yourself. This is the meaning of Viveka often translated as discrimination or discernment. It's when you withdraw your true self or you separate the true self away from the phenomenal world. You discover what you are through this process of retreating into yourself. The mind, the ego mind, retreats into itself. And it keeps going back into itself more and more and more until it just becomes pure consciousness. So what was initially the ego is transformed into pure consciousness. When it reaches out to things in the world, it's we call it the mind or the ego or ignorance. And when it falls back naturally through letting go, through love, through love of God, love of self, naturally comes in, naturally just comes apart from, just falls apart. I'm trying to think of an example of two things that are bound together and then they just sort of, one just peel off, it just peels away. And what's left is just pure consciousness. The ego isn't real, but when it's thought as being real, this is when these teachings are useful. If it's truly known, there is no ego. Truly known, not just an empty philosophical or verbal statement. If truly known, then that is liberation. But that is not known by the mind if it's truly known. It's known by the mind not being there and just the self shining. Pure consciousness being what it is. Pure consciousness, self being self. Being, being, being. 